Hey, in just over 24 hours, we will know who you pick to be the grand prize winner of Art Prize 2013. And all week long on Daybreak, we've introduced you to the artists behind the top 10. This morning, I'm joined by Fraser Smith, the man who created Finding Beauty and Bad Things at DeVos Place. This is an interesting piece because it looks like something that it's not. Uh, yes, it uh, looks like it's a quilt, uh -huh. but it's actually just a big block of wood. Which is amazing. Um, I, I hope people feel that about it. Mm -hmm. That's the word I've heard a lot when people uh, figure out what it is. So you stand, you, you're next to your work for hours on and uh, every yeah, day? I try to be there all day, every day to explain to people um, you know, what I've done and, and how I did it and why I did it. Do you and, have to correct people because do they think it's a quilt? Uh, they think it's a quilt, but you end up sort of... Um, you know, I tap on it or do something okay. that, that gets catches their attention and then they they frown a little bit and then they come closer and then you can, you know, hand them something else that will lead them to understand what it's actually made of. Uh, but it's really just a 96 pound block of wood. So how did you do it? Uh, I carved it out. It, it was started as five pieces of wood glued up into one big block mm -hmm. and then uh, it was, um, I just started carving. It, it's as simple as that. You take out a lot of wood the first day and a little less the next, the next, the next, and you, uh, eventually you, you, you've got uh, a quilt. Um, and it's uh, it started at 178 pounds, it's down to 96 now. So. Wow. So is this a medium you usually use? Have you made pieces uh, like this before? Or is this a it's something I've done for 30 years. I mean, I've been. Uh, a professional artist or at least mm -hmm. not I haven't had any other job since 1988 but um, so I've done 49 quilts actually um, this was the 48th okay. and it's uh, one of the bigger pieces I've done and I think one of the best pieces I've done I'm wondering about your vision behind it because the name is interesting to me finding beauty in bad things well it has to do with something that I brought a visual aid uh, it's a porcelain vine. Okay. Uh, I saw this, literally this plant, in my host's backyard okay. uh, last year at our prize, and I said, well, what? that's you know, an incredible plant because it had all these different colored berries that were coming out all on the same stem, and you had purples and cyans and magentas and even white ones and just this crazy mishmash of, of colors in the berries, and then it was a nice growing over an arbor sort of thing. Um, and... Uh, so I said, I'm going to have to design a quilt based on this plant. Then, of course, I look it up on, on the Internet and find out this, it's invasive. Uh -huh. It grows over other plants and kills them. It's the kudzu of the north. This is just this terrible plant. But it also has all these wonderful berries on it. And so I designed the, the actual pattern on the quilt front based on that. But... Um, but it, it's, it doesn't have anything to do with, there were no porcelain vines killed in the making of the quilt of itself. Piece. Okay, good to know. Anything <laughs> like that. Um, so it's, it's actually carved basswood, so. Well, it's beautiful. Fraser Smith from St. Pete, Florida. Thank mm -hmm. you for joining us and good luck. All right, We're counting down. How are you feeling in the last few minutes or the last Well, I wish you guys had had me on wood TV a little bit sooner. Exactly, that makes sense too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>